<laughs> okay, I'm delighted to say we have on the line Connor Horan. Connor, thanks for joining us, buddy. No problem, lads. How are you doing? Good, thanks, pal. Yeah, well, listen, Good. we're about, I don't know, just over a day past the announcement. First of all, did it, yeah. did it surprise you in any way that, that the FAI made the decision with Martin? It must be said that they would go their separate ways. Um, I suppose a, a little bit it did. Um, you know, um, there was a lot of kind of mumblings, obviously, from, from the outside of the camp um, on the situation. Um, but I suppose, you know, you, you never know in football. Obviously, uh, you know, obviously the results weren't great recently. Um, but there was no kind of, you know, from inside the camp that anything was going to happen. So I suppose when it did break, um, there was a surprise element there. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's never nice when a manager loses his job. But ultimately, I suppose it's a results business and the results for us um, as players and as, as as a group weren't great. Um, and ultimately, you know, that's when the manager kind of... Um, Gets gets a lot of pressure on board. Connor, how how difficult has it been? Like we've all been through different aspects of our career, club, c country, where it has been difficult times. I can't remember mm. such a tough time in my career, uh, personally, of that long of a tough time. So the last twelve months since that defeat to Denmark, how difficult mm. has it been for a player? Yeah, it's been it's been really really tough. If I'm being brutally honest, it has it hasn't been easy at all. You know, I was probably a little bit lucky when I broke into the squad. Um, you know, my first couple of squads were, you know, with the likes of, you know, John O'Shea and Darren Murphy and Wes and, and they had just come back off a off a Euro campaign and um I was involved in that fantastic night in, in Wales. Um, you know, and that feel good factor was, was there, you know, it it was a fantastic group to be involved in. And all of a sudden within a couple of trips, you know, the, the squad completely changed. Um, you know, we had a lot of injuries as well. Um, and it just felt like that feel-good factor wasn't there um, for whatever reason. Um, and did I see that coming back anytime soon? Well, I'm, I'm not too sure. So, you know, it, it, for the last 12 months, like you said, it's been really tough as a player. It's been frustrating because you want to do so well for your country. Um, it's, it's one of the ultimate kind of honours, you know, as, as any footballer. So, um, you know, you want to go out there and you want to do well and you want to perform well for your country. But it just hasn't gone our way. And uh, like you said, the last 12 months has been really frustrating. I watch you play, Connor, every weekend, depending on where I am, and I see you playing for your respective clubs, and I've mm -hmm. constantly made the point that we're not seeing the best of certainly you, yeah. of Jeff Hendrick, of certain players mm -hmm. that I feel would have, I would have kind of similarities to when, when I played. So yeah. when Matt Doherty comes out and says what he says last night, and basically uh -huh. kind of alluding to what I've been saying for the last year in particular, when the results haven't been going our way, how difficult is it when you're not getting that level of detail going into the game and the way that Martin likes to manage? Yeah, it's it's, it's not easy. You know, listen, I'll always, first and foremost, I'll always be grateful for, for, to Martin. You know, he's, he's given me eight international caps. Um, you know, I would have snapped your hand off for, for one. Um, you know, so for that, I'll always thank him. Um, but listen, it, it, it hasn't been easy. I'll, I'll be one of the first to say, you know, my form for Ireland when I got my chance hasn't been as good as my club form. Um, you know, and that's a disappointing element for myself. Um, but, you know, what, what, it's, it's hard to say, you know, listen, it's, it's like you said, uh, I think club form from a lot of lads are, is good. You know, it's, it's very hurtful to, to hear lads say, you know, that it's a, it's a very poor squad or whatever, you know, it's the worst in years. I don't think that is the case. Um, it mightn't, there mightn't be as quality players as, you know, you Damien Duffs and your Robbie Keane, but I still do feel strongly that, you know, there is talent in that squad if, you know, the right man is, is there to, to take charge of the squad and put us in the right direction. Because I, I've seen lads do it in training or playing against them in the championship. The championship is a competitive league, um, you know, and, and, and lads play well here every week over in England. So, and to go over then and, and, and not play so well for your country, you know, something just isn't right and it is frustrating. So, um, you know that obviously, hopefully, will change now with uh, with a new manager involved. It feels as though, in general, the standard of coaching around the English game has gone up a couple of levels in recent years, yeah. and that was something Matt Doherty touched on that they're working with a very innovative coach <coughs> in Nuno, mm -hmm. and spent a huge amount of time in the training pitch coming up with a style of football that's attractive to watch and also mm -hmm. is very successful for them so far this season. I, I just wonder yeah. when you look at what you've been doing with Villa and what all the players have been doing with their clubs. If it, if, I, I don't want to say it's a step back when you come to Ireland, but if it's just too different, if it's just too old school for what young modern footballers have become used to. Yeah, maybe so, maybe so. Um, you know, I have to say here you now with, with Dean Smith, Dean Smith obviously Keith would know. You know the 
the detail that, that Dean yeah, goes into every single game yeah. is, is, is second to none. You know, he, 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 we play a very attractive style of play. You know, he leaves no stone on turn for any game. Um, he's not satisfied with going away to, say, Derby um, and taking a draw. He wants to win every single game. He wants to put our plan across to him. Um, and, and, we, and he wants to play an attacking style of play, and that suits us here. Um, and it's a fantastic to play in. Um, obviously, that may, not may be the case. You know, when we go over to, to the to the Ireland squad, um, but ultimately, you know, the lads have to, you know, do the best they can for for what's put in front of them. Because you know, yes, you'd run through a brick wall, and so many players would to play for Ireland. Um, but obviously, you know, the detail I would say that from club level to international level was definitely different, and it was definitely a, a tougher environment to play in. I would say. Mm. I guess you just say you just said you want to run through a brick wall to play for your country, and it's the dream for all of us. Yeah. When we start out, you know, you've lived it. But when you're sitting on the bench then and you're watching Cyrus Christie being selected in the middle of midfield and yourself and David Myler and Harry Arthur mm-hmm. there who are playing week in, week mm-hmm. out at club level in that position, that must also breed, I guess, an attitude in the squad of, of frustration that at times <coughs> times can unsettle things? Yeah, listen, um, you, know, on, 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 you can't really question the manager and, and, and what he did, you know, I'd never sit here and criticise any, any player, you know, when the lads go out there, you want them to do well because you want, the, you know, the feel-good factor and the buzz around the squad and, and, and for it to be a great environment to be in. Um, it, obviously, it is hugely frustrating, you know, without a doubt, so I want to be out there playing, um, you know, wh- whoever's playing in the middle of the park, you always feel like you could do something different to somebody else, but, you know, it was frustrating, of course it was, every, every player that you know, the players that you named out there would say the same thing. Um, but, uh, you know, that was the manager's decision at the end of the day and Cyrus played in there. And fair play to Cyrus. He probably didn't feel comfortable in there, but he, he got on with his job because he wanted to do it for a lad. He wanted to do it for himself and, and for Ireland ultimately. But, um, you know, like, it is frustrating, but, you know, you just have to try and get on, on with it as best you can as well. It's, yeah, I don't think it's any slight on um, on Cyrus Christie at all, and I like, I just I genuinely felt sorry for him covering the games yeah. and him playing in midfield. So it's certainly not slighting him because I've got the utmost respect for how he performs mm-hmm. for us um, in his right position. Connor, I'm a bit sick of hearing, and especially in England more so than over here. I think about we just haven't simply got the players. I just mm-hmm. don't buy into it at all. I see a squad of players who's been signed to Nathan that you've alluded to it, will run through a brick wall that have certain qualities. I do think yeah. we're lacking in certain areas, but the qualities we have, mm-hmm. for instance, you being a goal scorer midfielder, we mm-hmm. simply haven't had the chance to see that in a green short yet. The level of yeah. assists you've had over the last few years for both Barnsley and for Aston Villa. What mm-hmm. What is this squad capable of? I think it's a, it's, it's capable of, of more than what it's showing. Definitely, you know, um, I obviously play in the championship and you watch the championship every single week. It's a competitive, good league, you know what I mean? Without a doubt. Um, the majority of our players are in the championship or, or, or low Premier League. But, uh, you know, are you telling me that, like Northern Ireland, say, for instance, who came to the Aviva last week have got a better squad than us and they played some good football? Definitely not, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, I don't feel like we're probably maximising what we have right now. Um, and we, 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 we probably, as, as players, just want to show what the quality we have. It's, it's hurtful. It's, it's not nice, you know, to, to hear people say it's a terrible squad because we really feel that that's not the case. There is quality in that squad, but it was shadow of a doubt. Um, and, like, hopefully now it's an exciting time. Um, hopefully now, you know, um, with the right man in place, that they, he can get that quality out of the, out of the lads that I know that, you know, there is in that group, but it was I look back, sorry, Nathan, I look back at certain games throughout my career with Ireland and, and you've got to hold your hands up against some of the bigger nations that you face yeah. and go, look, they're, they're a better team than us, you have to suck it up to yeah. a degree. But you've, you've hit the nail on the head. Last week against Northern Ireland, I think it was the straw that broke the mm. camel's back because the level of players they have on paper isn't as good as ours, but yet no. our lads were chasing shadows, lacked that idea. That must have been a frustrating watch for the players. Yeah whether we were playing or on the bench or part of the squad, Connor, must have been a difficult night, that one in particular. Yeah, definitely. Um, it, it was, you know, you look at their squad, you even look at the Wales squad that came to Ireland, you know, when Harry Wilson scored that goal. I think we had six or seven Premier League players and they had two or three, something yeah. like that, and, and they played good football that night as well, you know. Um, I think maybe, you know, when I first joined the squad, you had the likes of Johnny, John O'Shea, Darren Murphy, Wes, Glenn, Stephen Ward, people who had hundreds of caps between them. And, and they probably didn't need as much info and as guidance, you know what I mean? Because they, they have huge amounts of experience. I think, obviously, with the younger and inexperienced squad that's there now, we needed every help that we that we needed possible. We needed all the info we, we needed possible. 
to compete at that level. Um, and, you know, that's where I think we found it frustrating um, because international football is such a high quality. And, and, and lads, I've seen that over the last, you know, 12 months. The results have been, haven't been great. Um, but like you said, and I keep saying it, I, don't, I definitely know that there is quality in, the, in that squad without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, definitely. Go on then, Connor. Tell us what you're saying in your Irish team WhatsApp group. Who do you want as the new manager? <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, I'm Someone not going to tell, yeah. <laughs> tell you anyone just in case that manager doesn't get the job. And then I'm <laughs> the, the, the two <laughs> front that? runners are obviously Mick McCarthy and, and Stephen Kenny. Yeah. Uh, how aware would you have been of what Stephen Kenny's been doing with Dundalk over the last few years? I, 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 I've been keeping an eye on it. Of course, you know, obviously Cork City and Dundalk would have been the top two, two sides in the last couple of years. And, you know, being from Cork, obviously, I keep an eye on the Cork City results all the time. You know, they've gone head to head quite a few times. So, um, you know, I've heard only good things about Stephen. Um, you know, so, you know, I know he's a, a front runner at the minute. And, and same with Mick. You know, I've obviously had played against the teams a lot of the years over here in the championship. So, you know, two good names. And, uh, you know, whoever, whoever, it, whoever it is, you know, hopefully it's an exciting time now. Um, you know, and hopefully whoever comes in can get the best out with the squad because, like I've said over at this interview a few times, there is quality in, in the squad, without a doubt. Well, if it's either of those two, you'll definitely be getting a game <laughs> with that response. <laughs> yeah, so on, know, a, yeah, on a serious note, you've got, the, you've got the derby on Sunday against Birmingham. Yeah. Good luck with that. It's a massive game for you. Cheers. Thanks for joining us, Connor.